What is up, guys? How y'all doing? It's me, Ken and Miko, aka Ocean Crash. Whatcha? How you guys doing today? Before we work, baby, Ken and Miko, aka Ocean Crash. What's good, y'all? Today, I want to talk about something that I love. It's coffee, baby. Coffee. Yeah, baby, coffee. Mmm. That's good. So today I wanted to talk about lattes. Yes, I did. Latte. L-A-E-E-T-E-T-T-E. -E -E -T -T -E. Latte. Um, yeah, guys. So lattes. What I want to talk about lattes is, okay, what is a latte, y'all? That's the that, that's number one question I get. What is a latte? Did Italians create coffee? You know, all of these phenomenal questions brought to you by the consumers of America. Um, so lattes, L-A-T-T-E, oh man, okay, lattes, they are a mixture of steamed milk and espresso. That's it. Okay, you can put syrup in there. It's still a latte. It's a flavored latte, which people call caramel lattes, and they rename them something different like caramel truffle turtle chocolate chip, and it's just like latte with caramel and chocolate. <laughs> That's it. So, lattes, basically, just just milk and espresso, and then all those syrup things, you know, all the things that they do. Yes. So, um, I'm going to go over a lot of these coffee beverages, coffee drinks. Um, it's, it's something I want to just discuss on my, on my before we work, okay? Just because people, people ask me a lot of questions about coffee, and I was like... Great topic of discussion. My uh, my other gaming vlogs don't go too well, and I'm not 100% on them. I'm not like I'm not 100% in, like I'm I'm enjoying talking about them, but I feel like I, I I can't afford to give it much depth and and seriousness as I would be able to another topic like coffee that I know so much about. Uh, more as it's like gaming news or, or, or stuff like that. I have to constantly like do research and then I have to like add visuals and stuff like that. So it's a little bit harder for me. But something like coffee where I know it already, you know, I'm a coffee candid masseur. Um, I love coffee. So that's, that's my life, baby. I love coffee. Yeah. So lattes. I want to talk about lattes. Um... Yeah, lattes, I feel like commonly misunderstood beverage. Very commonly misunderstood. Why, I do not know. Um, it's literally just espresso and milk. Now, the ratio adjusts. Okay, use a shot glass. Uh, one shot, if I'm not mistaken, is about two ounces. So the shot glasses, you'll see usually like one line and then halfway in, in between the glass that's one ounce and then two ounces at the top so you put in those shots in the drink i think it's two ounces i could be wrong could be one ounce i haven't made i haven't made a drink using shot glasses in a really long time i usually free pour everything so um yeah um so it's usually you know shot two shots a shot of espresso goes into the drink and then um, at the bottom, and then they usually put milk. Now, why not milk? And then and then uh, and then espresso gives you different textures, different flavors. If you put the milk, the espresso on top, because you don't stir lattes, you know, with a spoon or stuff like that. When when you serve it, you don't stir it. it usually settles at the bottom, and there's a reason for that. Um, it it's kind of like a palate thing you know you drink milk and then you slowly and slowly and slowly get to espresso and then it naturally kind of comes into your you know your palate um it's just different it's a texture and flavor type of thing where why they don't come all at once you know if you just mix it like coffee it's a little bit different with your cream and you mix it and it's just like all all consistent lattes are meant to be so that they're not mixed uh, they're consumed with the majority of espresso at the bottom, and then, of course, through through gravity and through aeration and whatnot, the the the, the two substances will mix, but they won't be hundred percent like shaken unless you shake it or stir it really good. But espresso t texture and consistency consistency in the beverage itself will be at the bottom of the cup, and then 
Yeah, and then you'll have the milk at the top. Um, so if you so just so you know, if you put the milk first and then the espresso, that's an upside down latte, or it's called a macchiato. Macchiato, if I'm not mistaken, um, in Italian, um, means to- on top or topping. I forgot. Um, <laughs> I was an I was an Italian minor in college. Jeez. Um yeah, so macchiato literally means to put on top or other it's something like that. I forgot. It's, I think it's on top. And um it literally just put you literally just put the the toppings or espresso on the top. So you pour the milk first, then you put the espresso, then you put the caramel or whatever it is and then the whipped cream. Um that's a macchiato. It's literally on top. Caramel macchiato is a latte, but upside down. Ding. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it kind of is just, it kind of just carried away in terms of the industry with caramel lattes actually being caramel macchiatos, but upside down. So there is a difference very much flavor, consistency, and texture difference. Because when you pour the caramel on top, it's going to most likely sink to the bottom, but you're kind of letting the the milk and heat, especially if there's a lot of heat, it'll absorb and dilute into the beverage as it's going down. Keep in mind, your milk is supposed to be steamed very hot. If I'm not mistaken, 140 to 160 degrees. Could be wrong. <laughs> um, all of this will be fresh in my brain in February. Um, so, yeah, um, this stuff is going to pretty much come natural to you once you start reading and learning more about it. I'm working on a book that's going to completely simplify everything about coffee. But um, but yeah, lattes, is, is they're pretty simple. Don't overdo it, y'all. It's just, it's just, just espresso and then milk. And then if you put any flavors, it's a caramel latte, chocolate latte, milk chocolate latte, uh, Kit Kat latte, if there's Kit Kat flavoring or whatever, <laughs> Reese's. But um, yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. You can put whipped cream on a latte. It'll also be a latte with whipped cream. Um, but yeah, lattes are pretty simple. You can make them at home with espresso, um, and steamed milk. Um, you can make a nice latte with espresso and cold milk and ice. Um, you want to put the espresso and then the milk and then the ice. Why? Because if you put the espresso and then the ice, or if you put the ice first, okay, ice dilutes with temperature. So you're going to water down your beverage and the purpose of ice is not to water down your drink it's to keep it cold so what you want to do if you're making a nice latte you want to put the hot espresso first the cold milk then the cold ice this way your ice doesn't melt quicker with temperature okay so that's a common mistake i see people do it's the most the most immature noob thing you can do as someone who's in coffee for the love of god do not pour hot beverages over ice okay you are diluting the beverage the water content will overload the sole purpose of ice is to keep the beverage warm what 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 is the beverage people don't like watered down when people say it's watered down maybe that means the ice has melted it and has watered it down you don't want watered down coffee otherwise it'll be like tea too much water not enough coffee okay please mix the temperatures correctly if you're gonna put in coffee put in your coffee pour the cream to cool it down and then pour ice that's how you do iced coffee in a very busy atmosphere. If you're doing it at home, brew your coffee, put it in the container, let it sit in the fridge for a few minutes. Afterwards, you take it out of the fridge, then you pour the ice and then the cream or cream and then the ice, cream and then ice. Okay. You want a balanced temperature. If you want iced coffee and you don't want to make a cold brew, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's relatively simple. Um, cold brew is good. It's very delicious iced coffee um people have the conception that it's just it's coffee so hot coffee and ice no take the hot coffee put it in the fridge for about 15 20 minutes or even put it in the freezer for 5 10 minutes that's what i do to like that really quick 5 10 minutes um put it in the freezer take it out pour the cream and then pour the ice and you got iced coffee without diluting your coffee it's perfect that's how you're supposed to do it that's how it should be done it's not hot coffee with ice like you'll see in like 
and like football like like cash cache stands or like shitty coffee stand-up shops and stuff like that you'll see that everywhere but that's all i got for you guys today i'm gonna get to work i got a lot of work to do but i hope you guys enjoyed this little monologue about coffee i'm gonna start doing more coffee discussion because i love coffee and i feel like it's something that i can expertly talk about because i've been in the coffee industry for about nine years 10 years <laughs> i'm old man 10 years so um it's a passion of mine i love coffee i love it so 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 much i love talking about it doing research experimenting which is where the phase i am now i'm experimenting with coffee a lot so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed talking about coffee if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section down below I'm doing these things more often now. I was really busy. Sorry for not posting a lot of videos. I've been really busy. I've been exhausted. I'm like working seven days a week, 12, 12 plus hours a week, you know, with my work, other work I'm doing, the coffee shop, just a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you like it. If you loved it, subscribe. Comment down below if you want to ask me questions. Have a good day, y'all. Peace. Bow, chicka, wow, wow.